to my channel. I have been gone for a while, but here I am again. If you've seen my Ipsy March video, it tells you everything that has been going on with all the madness uh, going on in my life right now. But I wanted to respond to a lot of messages that I've received regarding uh, wrapping a vinyl binder with fabric and it's it's pretty much the same thing as doing it with paper uh, but I do acknowledge that in my painting a binder video I did not show you how to do it I just showed you how it was done um, I showed it to you already finished um, and um, I wanted to do it because I've gotten a lot of questions about it. This is the painted one. Um, a lot of people have asked, how is it holding up? It holds up great. You have little kids and they use sharp objects on it. It will uh, mess the paint up um, and it, it probably would damage the vinyl as well, but uh, it really isn't for uh, heavy use of children and, and all that. Otherwise, it really does hold up pretty well. So one of the biggest questions that I get asked is, what do we do as far as measurements? So when you're go if you're going to use fabric, my recommendation is that you start with a quarter of a yard. Now this one I have already cut to size because this is the second time that I am recording this video and I'm playing with a new camera and I only got half of the video the last time. I'm hoping this time I'll get the first half. Um, but you get a quarter of a yard and you're gonna have a lot left over. This is basically what it's gonna be like. Okay, You're gonna have all of this fabric that is left over basically okay now when you have your fabric and you open it up the full quarter yard the first thing you do is you put it you put your binder right there in the middle and you start bringing over until you get it under the three rings right there right. And the edge is nice and tight and this is there and then you bring this one over the same way so it's nice and tight there and whatever's left over which was this You just cut with some nice sharp scissors and you save for another project. Then you do the same thing. Make sure you have about two inches at the top, two inches at the bottom, and you cut the excess only on the bottom. That way you don't have to cut an extra time. All right. Now to glue. I have fabric glue here. I am not actually going to glue this down because unfortunately the only kind of vinyl binder that I found has this plastic finish on it. It's a plastic, clear plastic cover on it and it doesn't work well with Mod Podge, which is what should be used for the fabric, okay? So if we were using the plain vinyl, I believe it's not painted, the first thing you would do is put your Mod Podge, just plain regular Mod Podge, just coat it here, and then hold on before you coat it 
bend up and bend up all right and make sure when you put down your that you have maybe an eighth of an inch I have a little too much here eighth or a quarter okay left over so you know that you're going to be there for that one and there for that one you just kind of finger iron it when you do that so that you can see um, exactly where it's going to come over and you can put down your Mod Podge but it'll be wet so you can move it if it's not and you put it down with that little edge the edges at the top and bottom once you have that exactly where you have it where you want it then you put Mod Podge all over here right and then you bring your hand from underneath and you start pulling up and make sure that it's straight and nice and attached and you open because remember I do not have Mod Podge on this so it's not glowing right and you brought it up nice and tight and make sure that it goes down nice Mod Podge and the same thing start bringing in nice a little bit at a time right until you are there and under now once you have this down make sure that your little extra that you left make sure that those fabric edges are glued together and that seals in your binder okay now you're going to do the same thing on this side this will be already down with the Mod Podge you cover that with Mod Podge this other flap and you bring up 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 smoothing with your hand so that it's nice and smooth bring it flat okay put Mod Podge here once again with your hand starting at the very edge bring it over and under make sure your edges are glued together so that it seals in the binder okay and that is all it takes now if you're using paper or plastic like I use you're using regular glue with paper I recommend that you are very very careful with glue because the paper will wrinkle very easily so my recommendation you can Mod Podge it um, if you want to do it that way it, uh, it has a whole different look to it if you want the paper intact you can use magic tape which is uh, it comes in like in a page light and then you can just put the paper on top um, but paper you have to be a lot more careful um, because it doesn't it's not very forgiving uh, you could leave it loose and just use tape that's another uh, way to do it um, but it's basically again it is like wrapping a book I don't know if people wrap books anymore for school but I remember uh, the week before school starting having to wrap all those books in in, uh, in paper because we were required to protect the books so that's pretty much it there's your fabric your painted vinyl and your plastic wrap the only one I don't have is paper because frankly I haven't I haven't seen a paper that really inspires me to do that um, but it's all the same principle use your binder as your template to measure if you're using fabric start with a quarter 
of a yard um, and get your rectangle cut out using the binder as a template. Uh, glue, tacky glue for the plastic. Obviously uh, priming with caulk and then acrylic paint and then a gloss, a satin gloss finish and Mod Podge for the fabric. And that's it. There you are. So I'm hoping that I answered all the questions. They do hold up pretty well. Um, if you have little ones, somebody asked uh, that there were little ones around. If they start picking on it, uh, the plastic won't hold, the paper won't hold if they start picking on it. The vinyl, unless you come with a sharp object and start scraping on it, will hold up pretty well. Um, these sit on a shelf. They hold my stickers, and um, so they get used when I'm looking for stickers. Open, close, put them back on the shelf, and they hold up uh, pretty well. I've done a few al uh, photo albums with the fabric, and they hold up very nicely as well, um, especially if you have good cotton and um, your Mod Podge is uh nice and, and uh, thinly applied. Maybe two coats of thin is better than one thick. Uh, so, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you still have questions, please, please, please let me know either in the comments or just message me. Um, I will gladly um, answer all your questions. I hope that this uh, helps you and that you give it a try. And you know what? When you do, Record yourself, put it up, and shoot me your your uh, link, and I will gladly take a look. I'd love to see um, other people and what they're doing, and uh, just enjoy the whole world of crafting and sharing. This is the time. Most of us are at home a lot. Why not? Let's get crafting and have fun, right? For now, this is it. I've got another... Uh, craft project that I want to show you with uh, Dollar Tree materials that I will be working on in the next couple of days. So you guys, please stay safe, take care of yourselves and your family, and in the meantime, be happy. Bye.